the lightning I grew up with loving. I mean, I'm a kid who loves, you know, thunder and lightning storms. I come from the prairies. They're fun. They're beautiful. They're nature at its finest. Now there's something to be terrified by. Because how many more horrible fires are going to start? Speaking about the fires in Peachland area, we had a lightning storm that went through that had many, many lightning strikes in the area. And I think at least 13 fires were started by those lightning strikes. It is very stressful to be watching these fires burn very brightly and not really know, you know if the wind had changed or if the wind had become stronger. Uh, a lot of us could have been in very serious trouble. One year I went to Saskatchewan and I saw smoke from a forest fire. That was the first time ever where the sun went orange in a grey sky. Now that's like all too familiar. When you look up and this little tiny orange glow comes through the, the grey. I've never seen smoke as bad as this year even. Uh, last year it was bad, but this year, I mean, you couldn't even see across the lake at times. So it was really bad this year. A lot of our world has changed because with so, so much smoke or whatever, people are having to do different things in their lives. So many people with masks all over the place. So many different sporting events, school events, all kinds of things are really, really affected. Tourist revenues are down. Every time we have the uh, smoke, the city is gray and cloudy and cold in the middle of summer for days on end. All the tourism really suffers. Two things, but not only has there been fire the last two years, but also the last two years, the springs, there's been flooding. Mm -hmm. So not only do you have now the cost of the flooding, but then now you've got the cost of the fire as well, so you're getting hit doubly hard. Our municipalities are paying more money for, uh, for looking after our water systems, uh, our sewer systems, all of those kinds of things. So the bills then come in to the taxpayers. After the 2003 fire, our insurance went up to $4,500 a year for fire insurance. That's right. But what do you do? You have to pay for it. You know? So it is costing you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh big time. The fossil fuel companies have to take some responsibility to do. And I don't think they've really shouldered their weight yet. It's mostly governments that have done it on behalf of the people. We have unfair subsidies already for all the oil companies getting their uh, royalties at ridiculously low cost. And then on the flip side, to have it be an externality from the uh, economic cost that they bear, it's, it's ludicrous. The money that's being made off of oil is just absolutely insane. So to expect that they should have to pay for the damage that they do, it, to me is no different than getting, holding the cigarette companies accountable for people getting cancer. Earth is crying, Mother Earth is crying big time. And unless we really start doing something very, very quickly, I'm afraid that the children now that are growing up are, are really going to be having an extreme world to contend with, and it's not going to be pretty.